Greetings, this is Adam Cochran with HelpMeRick.com and Castellini on Computers with a quick tip on how to remove red eye in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. This tip is an alternative tip. Uh, it's one that uh, is uh, slightly more advanced, but it does allow you to remove the red eye uh, with a lot of fine tuning. The problem with a lot of red eye removal tools that you'll find in Elements, Picasa, and many other programs is they just don't let you fine tune enough. They uh, either remove the red and replace it with black, or they remove the saturation, leaving the eye looking dead and gray. And uh, the, you know the pupil naturally has a little bit of color to it, no matter what setting that you're in. It's not just a straight black or gray. Uh, and so we're going to learn how to fine tune that a little bit and make it look the way we want it to. The first thing that we want to do anytime we adjust the uh, red eye in a picture is we want to zoom right into the pupils, right into where the problem lies. So we're going to zoom in here and uh, get you set up right there so it's right in the center of the screen. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to choose the elliptical marquee tool. Click on that. What this does is it draws circles. I'm going to start with this pupil first because it's almost a perfect circle there, not quite as hard to draw around. I'm going to hold down the shift key while I drag diagonally down with my left mouse button. As I do that, I want that circle to be almost perfect there. The reason you hold down the shift key is it draws a perfect circle. If you don't hold down the shift key, you'll have a hard time getting a perfect circle around the pupil. Next thing you'll want to do is go to Select and Feather and add a feather of about 2 in, ra in uh, pixel radius. What that does is it kind of softens out the effect that we're having here. It won't make it look all pixelated and jagged around the pupil. We'll say OK. Then we're going to go to Enhance and Adjust Color, and then we're going to go to Adjust Hue and Saturation. Once we're in that area, we'll move this over so you can see the pupil. We're going to bring down the saturation quite a bit. As we do that, you'll see the red remove from the, pix from the uh, pupil. And we're going to make it look about perfect there. We'll say OK. Now just to test this out, I'm going to hold down the control key and hit D, which deselects the pupil. And if that looks good, the next thing that you might want to do is go in and choose the paintbrush tool. And in this brush tool, you get to affect the uh, you get to draw what the effect this will have. And I just go in here and choose color burn wherever you are there. There we go, color burn. And we want to choose a, a pixel size or a brush size that's slightly round there. And we don't want it to be as big as the pupil and we don't want it to be too small either, so that's a good size to go with. Once we've adjusted that, we'll go into the opacity because we don't want the effects to be drastic. We want to be able to work on it for a while and really make it look good. We're just going to draw in there and you can see there that's too drastic. So we're going to go backwards and uh, take it out even more. There we go. And by doing that slight color burn, we'll make that pupil look a lot more realistic. Now as we zoom back to see what it would look like, you can see that pupil looks a whole lot better than if we would have just removed a red eye from it using the red eye tool. Just uh, going for testing it out in comparison. Zoom back a little bit there. We'll go over here and we'll use the red eye tool on the other eye just to show you the difference. It does take a little while to go, but you can already see it does work fairly well, but uh, the other eye is certainly a lot more realistic when you zoom back with it. And that's how to use the red eye removal tool or an alternative uh, method of removing red eye in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. For more tips like this, take a visit to HelpMeRick.com or Castellini on Computers. And you can always see more videos like this at YouTube slash cast TV. YouTube slash cast TV. Thanks a lot for joining us. I'm Adam Cochran.